So you should hear about the difference between Google Sites and also other website builder such as the famous WordPress, Wix, Blogspot, Squarespace, so on and so forth. So today, I would like to teach you on how to link your custom domain to Google Sites. Basically, the good thing about Google Sites is that you don't need any programming language in order to design your website because Google Sites is a what you see is what you get platform for you to build your website. Another thing good about Google Sites is that the Google Sites will be hosted in Google server which means that you don't need to rent or buy a server to host your website. For that, you are decreasing or reducing your fees to publish a website. Of course, you still can continue to publish your website without any custom domain. However, the website that you are publishing will be using Google Sites domain. Domain name is the address of your website and it is unique worldwide just like your, ad your home address. You can purchase domain name easily from um, most of the internet company such as Hostgator, Bluehost, GoDaddy and so on. But for me, personally, I will prefer Exabyte. In today's video, I'd like to teach you on how to link your Google Sites to the custom domain that you bought. So, for the example, I'll be using the domain that I bought with Exabyte. So, let's go! Now, I'll teach you how to buy a domain in Exabyte. And I believe it is the same for other domain name provider as well. Be sure to check with the domain name provider that you can customize the DNS records after buying the domain name. So to buy a domain name, just go to exabytes.my or any other domain name provider that you like. Search for your domain name at the column above. So I'm going to search yourcompany.com And remember that I've told you the domain name should be unique worldwide. So if the domain name has been taken by others, then you will not be able to take again the same domain name. So this domain name already taken by others, I'll just uh, put any domain name that I like. So this domain name is available and you can select from other domain name as well for example .com .my .my .club .tech .asia and all those domain name have different pricing so for me I will like this .com just press continue and you get some of the uh, protection for free and so on you can also choose some of the add-ons that you like for me I'll just press continue and it will bring you to the checkout so on the checkout you just need to press checkout and you should receive email from Exabyte on verifying your payment before you are able to use your domain. Remember to create an account with Exabyte uh, upon your checkout. To log into your account, just go to the top right uh, client login button, click on it, then log in with register or log in with the email that you have registered previously. 
example for me I'll try to log in with my email address and password and after that you should see the domain name that you have bought under domains click on it and it will show you all the information of the domain such as the registration date or the due date and so on so let's go back to the google sites so for google sites you need a google account to log in and access it via your google drive so i'm going to try to link one of my page here to my custom domain so click on your google site that you would like to link it so under the publish button there's beside the publish button there's an arrow and click on it after that click on the publish setting you should see a custom domain column click on the manage wording and click on start setup you can purchase a domain name directly from google via the buy a domain button but uh, for me it's quite expensive so i'll usually buy it from exabyte so click on the domain from third party enter your domain name so you just enter the domain name that you, you bought and make sure that you check whether which subdomain that you like to put for example if i put www.mydomainname it means that whenever any public click or type in the website www.yourdomainname it will directly link you to your google sites and you can change any of the subdomain that you like for example i can put notes or i can put my dot my domain name or other stuff as well so basically i would like to put the www so for the first time you are required to verify your domain with google first and please note that if you are using google workspace account then you will have different setup comparing to this one so for this one i'm using a free at gmail.com account so for google workspace account i'll share with you on the end of the video on how to set up the custom domain with google workspace account so let's back to this click on verify your ownership so you are required to verify your ownership for the first time when you connect to your website so you can select your domain register or provider so for exabyte we are we don't have the list don't have exabyte in this list so we are clicking others so in the description you are required to add txt record on your dns configuration so let's go back to the exabyte to configure it to access your dns click on domain manage dns and if you purchase the domain name together with the hosting then you can access this page via the cpanel so inside the cpanel you just look for the um, dns editor or zone editor or similar wordings click on it and you should be able to access it so for the first time you should add a new zone and leave the ip address blank to create your new zone so i've already created my zone here so i just need to click on edit zone so once i click on edit zone i'll bring in uh, the system will bring you into the dns manager which you can access it uh, by the c panel if you purchase a hosting together with your domain name so here we are required to add txt record so basically we will copy this and we will add record so after adding this record select the txt ttl i'll suggest you guys to put 
3600 okay so for the r data it will be this whole thing so make sure to copy this and paste it here and click on add record you are require to wait for a minute or two to successfully add the record into the system so once the record is added you should be able to see the record okay so for the next step click on add a CNAME record at the webmaster so for this step you are you are required to add CNAME record with these two so we'll just click on add a record select CNAME for the TTL we will just put 3600 and copy down the whole target or destination and click on add record so same you will need a minute or two for the system to add the record down and you should see the record uh, listed inside the DNS manager so once you successfully add your records go back to webmaster central there and click on verify so when you click on verify it should verify successfully verify on um, your custom domain and if you don't have this or you encounter any error during the verification probably you should look back to uh, the step just now and see whether is there any missing letter or symbol or anything during your setup so basically you will need to go through again your setup just now so once you have uh, successfully verified go back to your google sites and we will just click it again start setup from a third party click next click on our domain name and you should see a verified sign the arrow blue tick beside your domain name so click on next so you are required you are required to add another CNAME record that points your subdomain www to ghs.googlehosted.com so be sure to include the dot behind the .com so next we'll go back again to exabyte add the record and we are required to add www cname record 6000 sorry okay so we just click on add records and if you have error in adding your records such as it stated that you have multiple CNAME record it means that probably uh, there's a default records uh, inside your DNS manager so for example there's a default record for www to my domain name so I'll need to change this to ghs.googlehosted.com so the www will be the subdomain that you set for example uh, node or my that you have set privacy in your Google Sites. So click on save. And you should see the record is updated with the correct information. So once you have successfully saved the records, click on done and Google will start to assign your Google Sites to your domain to access your Google Sites with the custom domain you just need to um, key in all the details subdomain www dot your domain name and press enter so if you have this 404 error don't worry because the DNS manager will require 24 to 48 hours to become effective so please check back your website after 48 hours and if you still have issue 
go back again to your setup and make sure everything is correct and repeat the steps so let's continue to the google workspace accounts on setting up a custom domain in your google sites so for a google workspace account you will require your google workspace admin to help you to uh, set up your custom domain basically google workspace will have a, at least one super admin to be able to help you so the admin would require to sign in their admin account after that go to admin.google.com and you will reach this page upon reaching this page click, click on the apps and then click on google workspace after that look for google sites and click on it once the admin reach this page he or she will require to scroll down and click on the custom URL. So in, in this page, click on add custom URL, select new sites, and then input your Google Sites URL, which you have already published on your Google Sites. You just need to copy the full URL and put it here. So once the Google admin put the URL here, they'll be able to continue with the custom URL that you would like to set and then after that add the CNAME record on the exabyte just at the steps just, just like the steps just now so they are required to add the subdomain uh, for example www and then um, add as a CNAME record and point to ghs.googlehosted.com so once they have successfully set up, you should be able to see your website after 48 hours. So our video will be ending here. We'll see you on the next episode.